Hi you guys, welcome back to another first impression review video where I take a look at every single pattern in an entire collection and review them for just fit, fabrication, overall design, and just any organic thoughts that pop in my mind as I am looking through the patterns. Um, we'll be taking a look at Simplicity's fall collection today. Um, and if you like these videos, I have a ton of them, not just for the big four, but also for indie patterns, uh, just check the, uh, playlist that I have this one attached to. Okay. First up, we have a Mrs. Blouse with collar sleeve and hemline variations. This feels like, wow, like a lot of just, yeah, a lot. Hold on. A sophisticated silhouette with corseted waist detail. Okay. So they're trying to incorporate the corset trend from spring and summer into fall. It looks like they're also incorporating the peplum trend. Um, and it also has a collar and a sleeve cuff. I, there's just a lot happening in one little pattern here. Um, the shirt has a button front closure collar or collar band options, long sleeves with cuffs or sleeveless and hemline variations. Views B have contrast bodice views a and c has pin tucked bodice um okay so yeah like i said we've got a collared button down shirt with a ton of pin tucks giving sort of the illusion of a corseted top i mean i actually if i'm only looking at it like this i like this part a lot i think i don't like this down here just me personally it just feels like another element like collar corset peplum asymmetric hem like one of the things has to go right let's see what some of the other variations look like that's her version the line drawing is super cute you can see it has like a drop shoulder here's this version which i'm not entirely sure i'm guessing that's like a contrasting fabric without the pin tucks. So it gives the illusion. Why didn't they make this one? This one's way cooler than the one that they actually made. Here's a version in gingham. The gingham is not translating with the pin tucks at all, but you can see it's cuter. We don't have the sleeve. We don't have the um, asymmetrical hem. It's helping a little bit once you start taking away one or two of the elements. That's there's that's a lot. That's just a lot, a lot. Um, the way it's styled, everything about it is just too much. There's the back. And then here is the envelope back. I'm curious about B. Suggested fabrics are cotton blends, double gauze, shirting fabrics, and voile. Yeah, all of your like light to midweight sort of stable wovens. They don't have separate fabric listed for B though. Notions, A, B, 13 buttons. And then C has eight buttons because you don't have the ones for your cuff. So B is not a contrast fabric. That's really confusing. Huh, okay. We do have finished garment measurements. I'm gonna look at the waist. Um, the waist has four inches of ease in it. That seems appropriate if you're in between sizes i think you can definitely size down the bust has also four inches so yeah you could definitely size down one to get a little bit closer of a fit but yeah the fact that they don't have b i mean that's definitely a different fabric i mean but they don't have it listed that way was it um the fabric amounts oh yeah contrast b bodice front side front bodice back and bodice side back okay but you just kind of have to guess at whatever fabric i mean to make this super super simple make the shirt portion in you know a white shirting and then do the corseted part in denim use up some denim scraps that would be really cute obviously leather is an option um yeah, I think you could play it. This is my favorite version, I think. And then this one. I could see myself... No, I can't see myself making either one of those versions. But I can see myself appreciating 
your version <laughs> that you guys make. <laughs> okay, here is a Mrs. Jacket, double-breasted lined jacket with shoulder pads and optional contrast lapel or front patch pockets with flaps. All right, yeah, I mean, if you didn't grab one of these at any fall season in the last three years, I guess now's a good time as any. I'm pretty sure Mimi G has one. Vogue has one. It's your quintessential, like, long line blazer, right? It's not necessarily oversized. It's just a boxy long line blazer. I will say they did style this. Very cute. That looks very, um, like, current. Um, like, the woman this age would actually be wearing this. You know, that kind of stuff. But it has your collar, your notched lapel, your button pocket uh patch pockets not welts so that's super easy the shoulder and the arm like the bicep of this look exceptional one of the best i've seen in a really long time um you can see how it's it, the right length this has some sort of like um oh god not a shoulder pad but like a sleeve um cushiony thing in the sleeve that sounds like a shoulder pad that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about a Oh, sleeve cap. Oh, you guys are screaming at your screens. I know it. Leave it in the comments. Maybe it'll come to me before I finish reviewing the rest of it. Um, but you do have some shaping going on here. You can see this line here is a seam line. Um, oh, this is a contrast. So they did like a, a wool situation or some kind of tweed maybe with satin or something like that to make it a little bit more tuxedo-like. Oh, they show it to us buttoned. Thank you. That's helpful. So you can see how it fits over the bust. That's super, super helpful. I love that. You can tell that the fit is still really, really good. Yep. And how about this plaid matching? 10 out of 10, guys. I mean, even through here. That's incredible. There's the back. The back looks like we have a two-piece sleeve, which I love. We do not have any, well, they do such a dang good job at the <laughs> freaking pattern matching. It's hard to tell. We have a center back seam and I think we have a seam right here too. Sleeve head, sleeve head, sleeve head. That's what it's called. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Um, suggested fabrics, crepe, denim, flannel, linen types, sateen, and wool types. Yeah, any of your like jacketing type of stuff. And then contrast B, so that would be for the collar, leather, suede, or satin. And then I think it's fully lined, poly blends, rayon, and silk. Good on you if you're doing a silk lining. That's going to be a very fancy coat. And then fusible interfacing. And then all you need is buttons, a pair of shoulder pads, and then polyester fleece for the sleeve heading. So they actually have both. They have a sleeve head and shoulder pads, which is why it looks so, so good on her. Um, and you really need that. I mean, think about your body like a hanger, right? Where your shoulder bones are like the hanger itself and then everything hangs off of that. Um, we should have a decent amount of ease throughout. The hip would be the least. And in the hip, we have eight inches. So the hip actually has some of the most ease. The, the bust has the least. I guess that depends on your body measurements, but they put in um, seven, eight inches for the bust and the hip. Cute. That'll do well, I think, for those that just haven't gotten that pattern just yet. Um, we're doing that funky thing where they skip around. Okay, here we go. We have a Mrs. Pants and two links, camisole and cardigan. So it's one of those like lifestyle patterns. It's like a capsule wardrobe all in one. I really, really love these so much um, because it's like a lot of bang for your buck, right? I mean, look at all these patterns we're getting for the one price of some patterns like that jacket only had one view. This one has, you know, four, wait, one, two, three patterns. And I'm sure you could hack these. I'll talk through some of that as we go through it um, into even more. So just bang for your buck. Pleated wide leg pants and two links have wide waistband and belt loops with top stitching, side pockets, and back welt pocket. Complete the look with a camisole and short three button knit cardigan with v-neckline and patch pockets. Okay, so we have cardigan, camisole, 
pants. Okay. It looked cuter from further away. But <laughs> um, nonetheless, it's still a good basic situation happening. The camisole... It didn't say it was cut on the bias. You could, and that would make it, I think, even elevate it a little bit more. You could also lengthen this into a dress, and then you would have, like, a slip dress kind of thing. You could make these into shorts, you know, culottes, whatever. Change up the length of the pants. The cardigan... I'm a little upset that it's oversized. I think I was expecting something a little bit more fitted to kind of balance out the wideness of the pant. I think it's going to be hard for a lot of people to pull off an oversized cardigan and a wide leg pant. I do like the super wide um, belt loops, though. That's really cool. And the flat front top stitched you know, waistband, that's super cool too. There's your camisole cardigan. Okay, here it is without the cardigan. Thank you for all these photos. Yeah, you can see you get a really clean, modern look through here. That's that's really the star of the show to me. I know it's such a small detail, but um, it's just really clean and updated. I really, really appreciate that. And then the hem, I think it's a pretty deep hem. Yeah, a good one inch, maybe a little bit more. Side seam pockets. Yeah, it's a really good looking pant from the front. That silk cami is really pretty. See what I mean? This feels linebackery, and she's a model, right? So she's got not the same measurements <laughs> as, as most of us. Um, and it just feels like, and it feels like they don't, they don't, I don't know. I just wish it were fitted, I guess. Um, the back of the pant looks okay. Now she is kind of like popped on one hip, which is why you're getting these drag lines. Try not to let that distract you too much. The crotch curve looks decent. The length looks good. Yeah, I'm just not liking these two things together. But you could absolutely make it and then, you know, wear them separately, of course, too. Oh, here's a really good shot of the back of the pants. Yeah. That looks pretty decent, right? There's no, like, wrinkling up here. Thank you for all of these photos, Simplicity. It really does help. The cardigan's cute, just not with these pants. Um, so, for the pants, cotton blends, gabardine, linen blends, satin, stretch wovens, twill, wool blends. Yeah, a lot of different bottom weights there. Um, but if you want to make these for spring, you could definitely use, like, a chambray or a linen if you wanted to make them for winter, you could obviously use like some kind of wool or tweed or something like that. Um, see, they're recommending silky types. Like I said, it's not cut on the bias. If you do cut it on the bias, I think that you would be able to open yourself up to some more fabric options. Still lightweight and drapey like rayons, but not just, you know, silky, shiny, polyester -y type stuff. And then D is going to be stretch fabrics like jersey, ponte, rib knit, sweater knit. All right, and so you have a zipper and hook and bars for the pants and three buttons for the cardigan. And then I'm not even sure. Yeah, I was like, I don't even know how they're going to list the finished garment measurements on this one. They're not. Um, there's just too many to go over in one thing. So, cute though. And like I said, bang for the buck. All right, so back to the top. I think that that, again, it's confusing. Yeah, so this is the women's version of that. Yes. Okay, so we've got this. Um, well, I guess I should do that real quick. That makes the most sense. Oh, this is so annoying. Is it me? Is it them? I have no idea. And they also have everything listed twice. One for paper patterns and one for indie pattern or for pdf patterns like why like you can just do it here i don't know why they have it listed twice it's very confusing but either way i just want to look through the pictures of the women's version um okay so this is a rib knit much drapier than that sweater knit that they used on the mrs version so you can see you get a little bit different of a silhouette here i think that was a smart choice for the women's version i just would have made this shorter and I think that that's a problem that a lot of you um, 
full size people experience, right? Is the length of things. When I'm doing my consultations for my fast fit worksheet, uh, most of the time you guys are petite through here and they're keeping the length of all of these patterns, which the same as misses. And most of you are short waisted. Um, so I wish that they would take a look at that again and kind of reevaluate like today's woman and what her measurements are lengthwise, because most of the time you guys are going to be able to chop off like three or four inches, maybe even more than that. Um, but you could see here, if this one was just a little bit shorter, I think the proportions would be a little bit better. All right, let's take a look at the pants look decent. She does have her hands in the pockets sort of, so I can't fully tell what's happening here because it's happening on both legs, you know? So I don't know what that is all about. Saw all of these. There she is in the cami. The cami looks good, I think. I was checking the arm side depth, but that looks okay. Yeah, still a little grandpa-y from the back, right? Like, I guess that's what you're going to get with like an oversized cardigan, but you have the drapiness, you know, I'm fine with that. This is twisting again. So, and she doesn't look like she's got her weight distributed like on one hip or the other. It's just twisting around her legs. So that could be the fabric, like not cut on green. That could be sewing gone wrong. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why that could be happening. It could also be fit, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Too many factors for me to determine from here. But we've also got sort of a wedgie happening. So, you know, this is, this is, um, I'm sorry that I'm <laughs> zooming in on her bum, but there's just too much fabric um, in the curve. Um, so we need to, I'm going to say scoop it out. Don't get mad at me if you're an anti-scoop person, but that's, that's the goal is to remove that fabric. So um, that's what you would need to do. I'm thinking maybe something with the fabric is off too, because look at this start. It doesn't look that great either. Um, so yeah. All right, that's the women's version. Okay, back up to the top, we have this. All right, men's half zip hoodie. No reason why this couldn't be unisex, but they want to isolate it for the men. Okay, fine. Easy to sew, half zip hoodie in men's sizes, small to 2X, has front kangaroo pocket with flap that continues around the back. Elastic in contrast at sleeves and hem band. Okay. So half zip, a corduroy half zip. That's a, that's a choice. You've got this really interesting, um, like hood. That's not a hood. Like, did they call that a cowl neck? What did they say it was? They didn't say. So I don't even know what to call this, but it's like a really high neck grown on. Is it grown on? No, it's sewn on. So there's a seam there. Yeah, super interesting design there. Half zip. Here's your kangaroo pocket. Contrast at the wrists. But I don't even think that that's rib knit. I think that that's like leather or something. It's a little long on him, which is why it's kind of not, you can't really see the bottom hem. I do like how wide the cuff is. Drop shoulder. Yeah, that looks a lot more sporty, right? Show me the back. Uh, oh, it is a hood. That looks crazy. That looks, I'm, I, I, I mean that almost literally, like my eyes are playing tricks on me. It looks like he's wearing it backwards or that his head is literally turned 270 degrees or something. It's like playing tricks on my brain. If you look at that, like squinted eyes, it looks like he's doing some weird, like <laughs> weird thing with his head. I can't look at that for too long, but um, but yeah, that's a really, that's a massive hood because it's corduroy and lined. Yeah, that's a lot. 
Yeah, you get one view on this, it looks like. So, corduroy cotton blends, flannel, French terry, lightweight denim, lightweight wool blends, linen blends, ponte, stretch wovens, tweed. Tweed. That's an interesting thought. And then they're lining it with cotton blends or polyester blends. So, they're suggesting mostly mid-weight, stable wovens. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I mean... The hood is throwing me off, and the fact that this is the back and the front, it would be a very easy alteration just to, you know, make that flat in the back. Maybe that. But I get that it's a kind of a cool detail. I just don't know if... Yeah. Does it, it doesn't zip away? Why would it zip away? Then you'd have a men's crop top. That'd be weird. A crop top, half zip corduroy hoodie yeah i don't i mean okay who am i to say maybe it's cool who knows what do i know but i don't think that you know most men in the world are looking for to make themselves that this i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe i'm just not that familiar with menswear i didn't used to re review menswear at all for this very reason i don't i don't know if that's cool or not <laughs> i can't determine i know that my boyfriend would not wear that but that's just him. He's very specific, too. Okay, so we have Mrs. Pants. Um, create these easy to sew. Mrs. Pants in two links. Pants have front pleats, back darts, belt carriers, front pockets, front seam details, shaped flap at center front. What is a shaped flap at the center front? That word even, flap. Ew. <laughs> Zipper and button closure. View A has front slits on the leg. Well, they're really working hard. Oh, God. They're really working very hard to make these pants extra. So, this looks like a jock strap, right? I mean, look at it. Why? This must be some designer, like, knockoff. Why? I don't know why you'd even think to do that. Do you have to put it on there? I guess not. But then if you don't, then you just have like regular pants. I don't know. Do people like these? When you guys saw these, were you like, yes, super cool. It's just an interesting place for a flap that is that shape. You know? Ignoring that though, the pockets are kind of cool with the pleat and the top stitching, like two piece leg. This makes fitting really easy. Especially if they have that in the back as well. Here's the one with the slit. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is kind of cool. And I'm just getting uncool. Ooh, okay. So the fit on these, if you want to compare good fit and not good fit, go look at the other pants that came as part of that camisole set. And then look at these. This has way too much fabric in the bum because her butt is eating all that extra fabric it's actually counterintuitive when you get a wedgie it's not the lack of fabric there's actually too much fabric it's yeah anyways pants fitting right hashtag pants fitting but we do not have a seam down the center back that's okay but yeah this is this needs to be addressed but the rest of it looks pretty good great pretty long line there Denim, lightweight wools, linen, poplin, rayon blend, sateen. Yeah, I really don't know what I would have done differently than the sample version. I mean, it was styled cute. I think I would just have to, like, think, think broad, more broad. Like, think cooler than I was. Maybe initially I was taken aback by the words. I wonder if I hadn't read the description first, if that would have made a difference. I don't know. But we've got how much ease in the hip. It looks like six inches. So that's pretty decent. They don't have the waist, which is the most fitted part of all of this. So, but you got to assume it's like one or two inches, right? You'd hope anyways. So yeah, I don't know. Like the styling's cute with the little cropped sweater. 
maybe it's because they're so long on uh, because they didn't put heels on her. No, I'm just no, no, I'm trying to just like look at them from like. Let's just look at them like this. Is that cool? No, it's still weird. It's weird. Maybe in this fabric because it's so thick, that fabric is. Maybe that's it's like extra weird. I don't know, but yeah, I'm not I'm not understanding it. Maybe if I see some of your versions in a more like crisp fabric, it'll change my mind. But for right now, that's a mm, I'm gonna pass. Okay, do they have a women's version of that pant? I don't think so. Okay, so next we have, we're going to skip the kids' clothes, although hashtag adorable, the girl and the dress. We have this little number, Mrs. Knit Dress and Shrug. Shrugs, you guys, they're, the kids are wearing the shrugs, okay? They're loving the shrugs. So we're, we're bringing those back. Um shrug life was i think i was a little bit like in between age groups when shrugs were really popular so i didn't embrace them as much as i could have i was like a tween and it just was too old or too young but now i think i could get behind a shrug <laughs> semi-fitted dress and two links is slightly flared at the hem and has a back invisible zipper closure a knit dress with a back invisible zip closure that doesn't make any sense why would you put a zipper in a stretchy dress Hmm. View A is a midi length with draped off the shoulder neckline. View B is a strapless long length dress. A strapless knit dress? How in the world is that staying up? Unless it's like super tight. The shrug has a center front knot with a pull through tie. This feels like the science isn't sciencing. Like this one's staying on. That makes perfect sense. You've got it, you know, your shoulders holding it up, whatever. It's actually really pretty and kind of old Hollywood, right? Way more glamorous than I was initially thinking. Like, probably even too glamorous to wear to Target. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Like, fall wedding all day long. This is a tube dress, okay? This is a tube dress. I don't know why you need a zipper in the back unless there's some kind of like stay here at the bus to hold it up. We'll have to look at the notions. And then there's your little shrug that has a twist front and a pull through tie. So initially this one's a yes for the right event, which I just don't have a lot of events like that. I will say it really is only suitable for fall because you couldn't really wear a jacket over this. Maybe like a cape, you could put a cape over it. This one, obviously you could wear the shrug with it, but you could also wear other things. You could layer it on top of something, you could put things over it, but I just don't know how she's staying up. I also still don't understand the point of the zipper, unless this is not stretchy. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. Like, if you couldn't get this over your shoulders, because that's such a... Yeah, and it doesn't look like there's some kind of, like, lining or something in there. Let me get through the rest of it. Or actually, just to the back of the envelope, and that should give me a lot more info. But look how pretty that line drawing is. Lovely. Oh, and there's even some ruching... Okay. So, all right. I guess that makes sense. Is it lined? I, I need I need the technical information and not just um, these pictures. Stretch knits. Okay. Invisible zipper and one and a half yards of elastic. So it is stretchy right here. The elastic is going through the bust. I don't know, guys. I might try and make that without the zipper and see if you can get it on. Um, but other than that, there's nothing holding it up. The elastic could be enough. There is your fabric and interfacing, but only a little bit of interfacing. So probably just for the zippered area. 
and then your shrug. So nothing is lined. There's no... How was that finished, though? If you look at this version, there's no seam here. So is this doubled up? This is two layers. It's self-lined. And then this is where the elastic is all the way around, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let me see what the... So we should have like zero or negative ease here. Yeah, and we do. Okay, so that's a little bit helpful. Yeah, you're just going to have to be really, really careful about your fabric choice. I mean, ponte knit and rib knit could not be further away from each other in terms of the stretch that they have. <laughs> so I don't even know. That one seems really confusing to me, and I feel like you might, if you go into it blind without considering these things that I'm pointing out, you could end up being really disappointed. It's just that it's that it doesn't stay up, or that it's too loose, or that, you know, I don't know. That feels risky. It feels like a risky move. Okay. Mrs. Vintage Blouse from the 50s. Simple to make blouse. Boasts. <laughs> Smart raglan sleeves, three button closing in front, one button closing at sleeve bands, loop and button at neck. View one has convertible collar and three quarter sleeves. What's a convertible collar? Converts to what? Um, view two has a convertible collar and short sleeves and view three has short sleeves. And is sparked with a tie collar. <laughs> uh, those words are so interesting. I don't know what a convertible collar is, but this is one. And this is one. Does it mean that you can pop the collar? Is that what it is? And then you have the little bow one. I mean, a raglan sleeve button down is cute. Right? That's kind of cool. I really wish they made a sample out of these. Like, I get that they're, like, from the past, but, like, I don't know. I just would rather see them on an actual human being than a drawing. I don't know how this really fits anybody. Like, I would be like, oh, that dart is way too high, but that's not a person. That is a drawing of a person. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What is wrong with her finger? What happened? She's missing a finger. That's what happened. Those, <laughs> that's supposed to be two fingers. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, let's look at the line drawings. Oh, look at these pretty darts in the back, too. So, it, you know, they loved a little fitted, fitted waist situation back in the day for tucking. So you could leave those out if you wanted it to be loose fitting. That's not a problem. And then all of your shirtings, striped fabric. They're saying you can make this out of wool or jersey. That's that's broad. Okay. Buttons. Yeah, and then the waist has... It says it still has nine inches of ease in it. I don't know how that's possible, but again, we're only looking at a drawing, so I can't, I can't really tell or compare anything. I know nothing. Um, I can't base anything off of a drawing. It's really just... Oh, that's pretty, you know, like. All right, so back up to the top. Okay, Mimi's first pattern is a jumpsuit. Oh man, okay. Mrs. Jumpsuit with snaps or button closure at the center front has pleats at the waist, long sleeves with cuffs, back bodice yoke, front pockets, and choice of tapered or wide leg. Okay. Button front closure, pleats at the waist. Okay. So. Okay. So it's like a boiler suit, right? Isn't that what this is? Um, a fitted denim, long sleeve, drop shoulder. Yeah. Okay. I can get behind that. Initially, this is what's throwing me off here. It's too long in the rise for her. So I'm going to look past that. Um... But just, 
just know that you should be checking that measurement regardless of whether I say that the modeled photos have an issue with that or not. You know what I'm saying? But because she's petite and I know just, I just know she's petite from looking at her pictures and stuff. Um, that's probably what's happening here is that they had to make the sample size and she's not a sample size. So, um, yeah, just a little bit too long through here. If you were to pull all that up, you know, just hike that up to where her crotch line actually is, then that would even resolve all of this stuff here. Um, but yeah, nice straight leg line otherwise. And the top half is really good. Cool little pleats here that open up into this really full, it's like a full blousey kind of top fitted through the waist and hip and then flares back out again. So the silhouette is pretty hourglass friendly. There's a side view, which is not super helpful. Same picture as before. Here's the back. The back looks pretty good. Which is interesting, unless she adjusted this one, which I can't tell because we've only seen a side view of it. But you can see the yoke and all the top stitching. She's got a hip popped, which is why you're getting these drag lines. Here's a side view of the... Okay, so that we can compare these. So see this? This is too long in the rise. If we go back to this, not the same thing is happening. Now, could that be fabrication? Yes. Could that be adjustments made to the pattern? Also, yes. We don't know. We weren't there when either one of these were made. I'm just, you know, pointing out things that I see in the photos. But you can see a distinct difference between this version and the denim version from the side. Okay? The denim one just looks too long all around, but it's also a different view because look, there's pockets here and on the white one, wait, there's pleats. So they're different, some different thing is happening there. We'll look at the line drawings here in a second. So the white one fits a lot better for sure. They look to be the same other than length from the back. Shally? That, I was not expecting to see that. Is that right? Shally? That can't be right. They meant chambray. Shally? I mean, I guess that's just like, ah, uh, I get, um, no, that can't be right. That can't be right. I wouldn't make this out of Shally if it were me. There are other jumpsuits better suited for Shally than this one, especially with the top stitching and everything. I don't know about Shally. Oh man. Okay. Denim linen types, microfiber. God, I haven't seen that in a minute. Poplin sateen twill, which is also denim. Okay. Snaps, heavy duty snaps. Shally's not right. Shally is supposed to be something else. Okay. And then body measurements. So we've got seven, six, seven inches in the bust. We've got two inches in the waist. That makes sense. And then, oh, differences in A and B in the hip. I think because one tapers in and one doesn't. Okay. So the tapered one has three inches and the other one has more like five. Yeah. Okay. Here's the difference. You can see you have the pleats here with just your kind of simple slash pocket. And then this one has the more denim -y type of pocket. I really like them both. The line drawings are so cute. I mean, I think a lightweight corduroy, maybe that's what they meant. That's a C fabric corduroy would be super cute really lightweight one almost because it is a little bit drapey on top right you want it to have like a little bit of drape to it not like a drapey fabric but you know something with a little bit of movement um i think would be really cute okay so now we have unisex sweatshirt and pants okay these two look cool Front half zip sweatshirt has drop shoulders. 
long elasticated sleeves, elastic cord at the waist and front pocket with contrast flap, pull-on track pants have tie cord and elastic at waist and hem, plus two cargo pockets with zipper. Yeah, this feels like right out of like a catalog or like a some boutique's Instagram app, right? Like, yeah, this little like teddy bear fleece. I, I have some. I must. I don't know if I got it from Joanne or where, but I have some. So it's not super hard to find. And then you have this fabric here, which is like a cotton or something. So to install your zipper and all that is super easy. And then there's the flap um, elastic here. This does feel a little, I think I'd make it shorter for me personally to give like a little cropped look. But then you have the pull on pants that have this like, I don't, wouldn't we rather that be out of this fabric and not the, not the teddy bear fleece? I don't know, but there is a little zipper in there. I guess it depends on like how streetwear you want to be. But yeah, very like cool and modern and you know, wearable. Yeah, I wish there was some of the orange down here somewhere. Yeah, and I'd probably futz around with the waistband, either making it shorter or removing the elastic or something. Just to, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of this, like, and even in the white, it makes it look even more like a, like a marshmallow with a rubber band around the middle of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not the biggest fan of that, but um, other than that, it's really cool. Yeah, okay. This is the perfect illustration. So they tucked the elastic in here, right? They turned it under, which means to me that they recognized also that the it's too long. So if the elastic sat at a different place, or if you always tucked it in like this, or if you just cropped it and didn't use any elastic, you'd get to look more similar to this. But yeah, I think it's really cool. I like it. And like I said, I have some of this fabric that I needed to make some kind of like Sherpa type of thing from, but fleece, micro fleece, Ponty. Oh God. Yeah. Ponty would certainly be like a sleeker, cleaner look. And then canvas, cotton blends, ripstop, nylon, and twill. And then we also have a little bit of lining. A ton of notions, zippers, cording, elastic, all of that. There's even some Velcro in there somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, just a quarter yard of that contrast fabric. So use up your scraps. The lining is, I think it says three eighths. So use up some scraps for that too. And then pretty loose all around. The elastic is really the only thing keeping it like fitted. So yeah, just check the length on that. All right. So that puts us where? Here. So another little kid's, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's cute. All right. Then we have the PDF version. Another little kid's thing. We have neckwear headband dickies and sash belts that's interesting and then costumes wow look at this um plushies fabric what you can make like a beehive out of fabric that's kind of incredible more plushies more costumes this every once in a while they throw in one of these like little house on the prairie looks or, um, oh God, what was that show with Ellie, Ellie, not Ellie Golding, Ellie Kemper, where she was like kept in a, she was like a member of a cult and she was kept underground for a very long time. And then, the, then they, she was found. That reminds me of that, that costuming. Um, we've got some hats. Wow. Those are some serious hats. And then more PDF versions. Okay. So not the biggest collection. Oh, we've also got a Madeline um intimates pattern more costumes i mean the bumblebee come on wait is this like a mat and you stick your kid into the mat your little baby goes into the mat you guys is this not child abuse that is sewn on to the mat and then you stick your baby inside that thing look 
Right? That's sewn onto there, yes? So your baby's, like, trapped. Can I put my dogs in there? They would never stay, but that would be really cute. It's, so it's just for pictures, because you can't really, like, carry the baby around in that thing. What does the description say? Bubble suit costumes. It doesn't say anything about them being sewn onto the mat. <laughs> Hats and reversible blankies have assorted trims and accents. Wow. That, that's something else. All right, but where's the babies? Okay, there they are. Then we've got a vintage wedding dress. We've got a little sling bag thing happening. So a lot of accessories have come out. Look at this. Tabletop. Uh, what are they called? Table covers? Nope. Oh, my brain's not working. Um, another vintage, 70s vintage skirt thing happening. Some luggage. Oh. Hat. Duffel tote. Cosmetics case. And I, oh, Laura Ashley. Yeah, very much so. It's like a little travel set, I guess. More costumes. Warm or cool packs. Wow. I want one of those. Um, seasonal wreaths. Pin cushion dolls. Um, she's crazy. No, that's creepy. It looks like the member the crocheted toilet paper covers. That's what that looks like to me. And then more plushies and pinafore aprons and a tote so some more of that like i don't even know little house on the prairie stuff yeah a mixed bag on this but in terms of um okay a bicycle basket more costumes yeah i guess that's this is the time for the costumes right anyways but in terms of women's wear oh wait and then you've got this buried down in here somewhere well, that doesn't make any sense. Something was telling me to keep clicking around in here. So we have this coat. Why was it so far down in the listings? That makes no sense. Relaxed oversized coat in two lengths have drop shoulder shaped lapel. Seven, eight sleeves with, waist, with bands at hem, patch pockets with flaps and button closure. So it's like a trench, like a soft fuzzy trench look at the big covered buttons those are super cool notch collar yeah it's like a fleece coat right i mean not much to say in terms of like fitting for sure but yeah it's almost like a um like everything's so oversized right the lapel is oversized the pockets are oversized the buttons are oversized like it's almost like you're wearing a cartoon coat. It is pretty cool, though. What fabric? Boiled wool. Corduroy, denim, ponte, tweeds, velveteen, wool types. Okay, well, I don't know why I thought that was fleece. But fleece is also a good option. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, yeah. I think the biggest takeaway from this one is just, you know... Big, 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 oversized everything. I have no need for a coat that, that is this warm. I just would never wear it. But, um, but yeah, it is pretty cool. Very statement-making coat. A statement coat. There you go. All right, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else tucked away in here. No, we've seen all of these before. All right, I think there's one more page. Wait, here's some pants. Oh, wait, this is the um, summer collection. Okay. All right, so all that to say, our fall collection, some hits, some misses, some good basics, um, some interesting, you know, trying to branch out a little bit. I think the only one that I'm going to grab is the either this one or I'm going to find something similar to this somewhere. But this is a strong contender, too. I think this will do well for her. I just don't know if I have the time or desire to make up one of those. But, man, it would be super cute. I don't know. It could be one of those weekends where the weather turns really bad. And I'm just like, let me just spend 20 hours sewing straight. So, 
anyways let me know what you guys think of the simplicity fall collection i'll be back really soon to review the rest of the fall collections from the big four and then we'll be proceeding with Indy until they come out with their winter collections. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.